Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 47. Class 47. Let's go! Beginner. All right, welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome to class 47. Yes, y como siempre, vamos a empezar con un repaso. As always, we're going to start with a review. Tell me, tell me to stand up. Tell me to stand up. Stand up. Muy fácil, ¿no? Stand up, Kyle. Stand up. Okay, vale. What am I doing? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? What am I doing? I'm standing up. Levántate. Stand up. St Levántate. Stand up. Okay, what am I doing? I'm standing up. Tell me to sit down. Sit down. Siéntate. Sit down. Sit down. What am I doing? Your Kyle, you are sitting down. You're sitting down. You're sitting down. Tell me to write my name. Tell me to write my name. Tell me to write my name. Write your name. Okay? Write your name. What am I doing? You're writing your name. Okay? You're writing your name. Tell me to stay still. Kyle, stay still. Estate quieto. Stay still. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? You're staying still. Am I moving? No, you're not moving. Kyle, you're not moving. You're staying still. Very good. Tell me to stand up quickly. Kyle, stand up quickly. Quickly. Okay. What what am I doing? You're standing up quickly. Tell me to tell me to sit down slowly. Kyle, sit down slowly. What am I doing? You're sitting down slowly. Yes. You're sitting down slowly. I stood up quickly and I sat down slowly, okay? Quickly. Quickly, rápido, rápidamente, slowly, despacio, lentamente. Slowly, okay? Tell me to get up. Get up. Stand up. Get up. Que me levante. Tell me to get up. Get up quickly. T tell me to get up quickly. Get up quickly. Get up quickly. Rápido. Get up quickly. What am I doing? I'm getting up. You're getting up quickly. You're getting up quickly. Tell me to sit down slowly. Kyle, sit down slowly. Okay, en voz alta, tell me to sit down slowly. Kyle, sit down slowly. What am I doing? I'm sitting down slowly. Lentamente. Slowly. Okay, very good. Okay, ahora vamos a hacer un repaso de la lista de traducción número uno. Ready? Are you ready to go? Translation. All right. Translation list number one. Number one is un teléfono. It's a telephone. It's a telephone. Muy bien. Number two. Estoy aquí. I'm here. Number three. Esto es un bolígrafo. This is a pen. Number four. El informe está en la mesa. The report is on the table. Number five. La casa es grande. The house is big. Number six. El periódico no está en la silla. The newspaper isn't on the chair. It isn't on the chair. Number seven. El libro es azul. The book is blue. Number eight. El lápiz no está aquí. The pencil isn't here. The pencil isn't here. Number nine. ¿Dónde está? Where is it? ¿Dónde está? Conmigo. Where is it? Where is it? ¿Dónde está? Where is it? 
Number 10. ¿Qué es esto? What's this? What is this? Pero con la contracción siempre. What's this? ¿Qué es esto? What's this? Very good. Number 11. ¿Está el libro en la mesa? Is the book on the table? Is the book on the table? And finally, number 12. El avión inglés es pequeño. The English plane is small. The English plane is small. Muy bien. Very good. All right. Word of the day. Okay, ahora. Sí, eso es nuestra palabra del día. Our word of the day. Our word of the day. The word of the day today is... Perder. En español, perder. En inglés, to lose. The verb to lose. And just like Spanish, we can lose a football match. We can lose a game. Perder. But we can also lose our keys. Perder. Puedo perder mis llaves. I can lose my keys. I can lose my wallet. I can lose my book. Some every day or eh, de vez en cuando, every once in a while, sometimes, a veces, I lose my keys. Sometimes I lose my keys. Yes, I lose. Every day I lose. Yesterday I lost. Lost. Con la T fuerte. Lost. Lose. Lost. Perder. Lose, lose, lose with one O, L O S E. Si pongo dos Os, tengo la palabra loose, que es suelto, flojo, suelto. Loose. Okay. Pero aquí tengo lose con solamente un O. Lose, lose. To lose the game or to lose my keys. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, we can move on. Yes, we can start to take a look at the present continuous. The present continuous, which is used with the verb to be, I am speaking, and the gerund, the I-N-G form of the verb. I am speaking. Are you listening? Are you listening to me? Are you listening? Oh, good. I hope you're listening. Espero que estás escuchando. I hope you are listening because I am speaking. I am speaking in English. I am not speaking in Spanish. I am speaking slowly. I am speaking slowly. I am not speaking quickly. I am speaking in English. I am speaking... I am speaking in my normal accent. I'm speaking in my normal accent. I'm not speaking in an Australian accent or with an Australian accent. I'm not speaking with a French accent. I'm not speaking in a French accent. Igual. I'm speaking in my normal accent. I'm speaking in my Canadian accent. For me, para mí, es mi acento normal. It's my normal accent. I'm speaking. Now, I am looking at my book. I'm looking at my book. I'm looking at a picture. I'm looking at a picture of two men. I'm looking at a picture of Philip Johnson and Nigel Perkins. Philip Johnson is pointing at a map. He is pointing at Greenland. He's not pointing at Mexico. He's not pointing at Brazil. He's not pointing at Norway. He's pointing at Greenland. He's looking at the map. And he's pointing at the map. Nigel Perkins is looking at the map. He's not pointing at the map, but... He is looking at the map, but, pero, but, he is looking at the map. He's smoking a cigarette. 
He's holding the cigarette in his right hand. He's not holding the cigarette in his left hand. He's holding the cigarette in his right hand, and he's looking at the map, okay? He's not pointing at the map. Philip Johnson is pointing at the map. Philip Johnson is pointing at the map with his left hand. He's not pointing at the map with his right hand, okay? Very good, very good. Now... I am looking at another picture. I am looking at a picture of Ines Garcia and Paula Eisenbach. Ines Garcia is sitting in a chair. She's reading, está leyendo, she's reading the newspaper. She's sitting in a chair. She is reading the newspaper. She is not standing. She is sitting. Paula is coming into the room. She is entering. She is coming into the room. She is entering the room. She is holding a tray, una bandeja. She's holding a tray, lleva una bandeja. She's carrying or she's holding a tray of coffee. She's not holding a tray of tea. Una bandeja de té, no, de café. She's holding a tray of tea, uh, of coffee, of coffee. She's carrying it. Ines is sitting in the chair. She is reading the newspaper. She is listening to music. She is listening to music. Paula is standing. Paula is entering the room. Paula is carrying a tray, una bandeja. She's carrying a tray. She's carrying a tray of coffee. She's not carrying a tray of tea. Okay. Now I have another picture of Pierre Monet, or Monet. Pierre Monet is de Francia. He's French. He's standing in the rain. He's carrying... An umbrella. He is carrying an umbrella. He is holding an umbrella. Okay. And he is looking. Está mirando. He's looking at his watch. He's looking at his watch. He is carrying a briefcase. A briefcase. Mm. Maletín. He's carrying a briefcase. And he's looking at his watch. And he's holding an umbrella. There is a girl. She is yelling at Pierre. Está gritando or calling to him. Pierre, Pierre, she is saying. She is yelling at Pierre. Pierre, Pierre, Pierre. She's yelling his name. Okay? She is standing in the rain. Pierre is also standing in the rain. But Pierre has an umbrella. The girl does not have an umbrella. Pierre is holding an umbrella. She is not holding an umbrella. She is standing in the rain. She is standing in Paris. She is not standing in London. She is not standing in Berlin. She is standing in Paris. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day, our five words of vocabulary. The first word, gordo, gordo. Fat, fat, as it was, fat. Febrero, February, February, February. Okay. Primero, first, first. Mm. Vaso, vidrio, cristal. In English, digamos, glass. Glass. Un vaso, a glass. También, vidrio, cristal, glass. Empleo, trabajo, tarea. Job, job, job. Be careful with the J. Es como CH vocalizado. CH que se pronuncia ch, ch, ch. Pero cuando usamos um, las cuerdas vocales, tenemos j, 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 job. Job. I do my job. Very good. Gordo, fat. Febrero, February. With a capital F. F, 
mayúscula. Capital F. ¿Ok? Primero, first. Vaso, vidrio, cristal, glass. Empleo, trabajo, tarea, job. Very good. Good job. Good job. Ok. Now we can practice the Saxon genitive. Yes, the Saxon genitive. Oh, there's someone... Oh, ¿qué es eso? Ooh, there are cats in the room. Whose cats are those? Ah, they're Natasha's cats. They're Natasha's cats. They're not Fitz's cats. They're Natasha's cats. ¿Y ahora? There's a... ¿Qué es eso? Oh, there's a dog. Hay un perro por aquí, no? There's a dog in the room. ¿De quién es? Whose dog is this? Whose dog is it? It's, it's Fitz's dog. It's Fitz's dog. It's not Layla's dog. It's not my dog. It's not Richard's dog. It's Fitz's dog. It's Fitz's dog. Hmm. It's true. It's Fitz's dog. And now, okay, my side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! There's an, there's an elephant in the room. There's an elephant in the room. Pero de quién es? Whose elephant is that? It, it's Alberto's elephant. It's not Richard's elephant. It's not David's elephant. It's not Carly's elephant. It's not my elephant. It's not Kyle's elephant. It's not Richard Vaughn's elephant. It's Alberto's elef elephant. Yes, it's Alberto's elephant. Bueno, enough with the animals. Enough with the animals. Let's play some musical instruments. Let's play some musical instruments. Ooh, nice. Nice. Ah, piano. Piano, no? Yes. There's a little bit of piano. Whose piano is that? Whose piano is that? ¿De quién es ese piano? Whose piano is that? Oh, it's Richard Brown's piano. It's not Richard Vaughn's piano. It's not my piano. It's not Layla's piano. It's not Hannah's piano. It's not Alberto's piano. It's Richard Brown's piano. It's Richard Brown's piano. Yes. And, ooh, the drums, la batteria. Are the, whose drums are those? Whose drums are those? Are they Richard's drums? No, they aren't. Are they David's drums? No, they aren't. Are they Layla's drums? Who, they're, they're my drums. They're Kyle's drums. They're Kyle's drums. Yes, they're mine. They're my drums. Whose are they? Kyle, they're yours. They're your drums. They're Kyle's drums. With the Saxon genitive. All right. Very good. We are completely out of time. Thank you so much for listening. We will go to the break now, and we will be back with the intermediate class after this. And I will be back with more tomorrow for you, the beginner students. Tomorrow, same time, same place. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>